It is the lifeblood for more than 100 charitable organizations in Kentucky. Now Metro United Way has a new director, a windfall of cash, and a new way to give it out. It's meant to put donor dollars in places they've never been before. He was 24, 24 at the time of his death. Rose Smith brings purpose to the site of her pain. I tell everybody I'm just working with the hand I was dealt. 25th and Standard, where her son was killed. Corey, nicknamed Ace Crow. Now home to the Ace Project. We do a business plan. Uh, they launched their product. The Academy of Child Entrepreneurship. Got her skill of sewing at the Ace Place, and she took that skill and turned it into a business. Smith has a wall full of teen it's CEOs that she's helping to build their own business. Funding has not been easy. I have been turned down a lot. Stories like this come to mind for the new head of Metro United Way. We haven't been an opportunity for smaller organizations, organizations that are led by black, indigenous, or people of color. Adria Johnson's the first black woman to lead the organization in its 104 year history. We are a product of, of systems that have been in place for a long time that have just not been equitable. She's breaking down those barriers, shifting United Way to a trust-based philanthropy model, prioritizing ideas, impact, and capabilities over arduous grant applications steeped in data. I do not have the expertise to do that. The shift coincides with a $20 million gift to the United Way from philanthropist Mackenzie Scott, ex-wife of Amazon founder Jeff Bezos. This organization is the hub for fundraising in Kentuckiana, granting millions in donor dollars to more than 100 nonprofits each year that impact thousands of people. We are also shifting our entire investment process to put priority on investing in those neighborhoods that are most impoverished, to place emphasis on supporting those smaller organizations. So a much bigger portion of the overall Metro United Way pie will follow suit. We Smith already received a $20,000 grant. And I want to have ACE maker spaces throughout the West End. And is optimistic for more. I'm hoping for the day where there is a level playing field for all. The United Way started a Black Love Fund to advance this cause. The first million dollars has been awarded to 19 nonprofits, and half of them were first-time recipients.